What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about disruption in the shower industry. Now, quick story. You may notice that I'm not in my studio. So yesterday morning, I flew out of New York City, 4 a.m. to go to San Francisco to do this interview, which I'm gonna post on the channel soon. And I had a couple hours to kill and decided to book a sort of tour or experience with this company, Nebbia, and their sort of disruptive shower product. You know, they're based in San Francisco. You can just sign up for 15 or 20 minutes on their website and actually go in and test the product. One of my investors, friends had told me about Nebbia, so it was on my radar. So I decided to go in and check it out. I went into it not knowing what to expect, you know, what, how much innovation can happen in, in just the shower space, you know, how big can this company be? But I left and was tremendously impressed, inspired, excited, and sort of, you know, this whole world opened up to me about how exciting this company Nebbia is. So I want to share it with you guys. So what is Nebbia? Nebbia is basically this premium sort of luxury, very fancy um, looking shower head that is in a, can be retrofitted onto any of your showers at home. And the principle of the Nebbia is they've sort of entirely reinvented what the showering experience is much like Tesla, you know, builds cars. But when they went to build cars, they said, okay, what is a car? What is the purpose it does? How can we make this better? How can we make the environmental footprint less, but also be a better experience for customers? And so I went in and I tried the shower myself and it totally lived up to the hype. I mean, it, 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 you don't feel like there's less water and, and they've, they've really worked and perfected this very complex technology where it's, it's all about atomizing the water. So by atomizing the water and, and taking, you know, nozzle technology that's been innovated upon in the you know space industry to make rockets, advanced medical equipment, etc. They've repurposed this nozzle technology to the consumer shower, which atomizes water, spreads out the surface area 10x of water, which means that you can get this feeling of of amazingly being immersed in water. It's a very you know the, the force of the water is pretty strong because of this nozzle technology. Apparently they patented it. They have a you know a CTO, a team of thermofluidic scientists. This is a very very high tech company that spent years developing this technology. So I will say you know after the shower it's like a hybrid of like a steam shower and a normal shower which maybe sounds weird but it makes me feel so so good i'm in seattle right now um and so we, we used to me and my friends and i used to always sneak into the tennis club a couple blocks away and just like use all their showers because they were so awesome and they have this fancy steam room and it felt exactly like that like it brought me back to like these old school fancy steam rooms that I've only used a couple times, but were so, so premium. And so I thought the Nebbia just was an amazing experience. So now you may be asking like, what is Nebbia the company? You know, who is this? So Nebbia has a team of three co-founders. Um, I was able to meet one of the co-founders and the CEO, Philip, he was awesome. So the company was started about three or four years ago, maybe like five or six years ago, actually. And Philip and his co-founder um, who ran a chain of gyms in Mexico was looking for a way to reduce their water costs because water was one of their largest varial costs for the showers for the gym. And and this sort of led to, you know, a bunch of thinking and tinkering and innovating about how to make a more conservative shower that still felt premium. And after years and years of development, tinkering, trialing, they even brought in this very special design firm to turn, you know, their prototype into a very luxury looking product. And that is what the Nebbia is. So years and years of very intense R&D. Um, the company launched a Kickstarter in 2015, and they only had a goal of raising $100,000. They ended up raising $3.2 million. Um, they've also raised funding from a couple of venture firms or or angel investors. And so the company is new, but it, it appears to be growing rapidly. You know, they've sold a, a, a significant amount of their showers in the market already. You can YouTube it. There's a bunch of people who've already done reviews. But, and so, you know, what is the future of this company? Is it just going to be a shower? Is it, you know, how does it work? And and first of all, I will say um, the shower is, is, is fascinating in a lot of ways. Just the product already is incredibly disruptive in that it's like this halo thing that's above you. It can tilt in, in at a 45 degree angle. It can be lowered up and down, which sort of sounds like pointless but you get a totally different experience if the shower is super close to your head or super high up it changes how the water hits you so there's like a ton of like customizable ways to shower when you're in there that is just nothing like i've ever experienced it also has this magnetic like hand thing where you can like put like a side thing that would be like in a european shower but it's always on and it's, it's sort of shooting at your body while you're getting water from the top which is this really awesome experience then you can remove the wand and like shower clean all your hard to get parts whatever and so it's just a much, much better showering experience and like the way it works with just the wand gets placed with just a simple magnet. I mean, it's it, they've, they've thought about how to make a, make a product that just works, that is an amazing consumer experience. And I think that is really, really hard to do. Um, and there's so much tech that goes into it, but it's such a simple, beautiful consumer use case. These are the companies that I think are, are really onto something and are, have found a product market fit that is going to work in my opinion. And so what's the future of this company? Why am I excited about showers? Well, first of all, you know, I think sustainability is super 
super, super important. Reducing our water usage. I mean, more and more people are living on the planet. We're only putting more and more stress on our natural environment. If we can figure out a way to use less water, that is awesome. And because we're using less water, you have to heat less water, which means your electricity bills go down too. So you might be saying like, wow, 400 bucks for a shower. That's crazy. But you can actually save a ton of money by purchasing a Nevius. They have this calculator on their website. Um, I did it for my apartment. I have three roommates. So I figured we'd shower three times a day, average eight minute shower, which is the average shower. I left the average rates there because I wasn't sure what we pay, honestly. And it says that I would save about $300 per year in water and electricity costs just from the Nebbia shower. So if it's a $400 shower and I keep it for two years and I save 600 bucks, like this is actually a positive ROI product. So it seems expensive, but you're actually getting your money back in terms of water and electricity savings. Now, I don't know if there's other, you know, smart advanced showers on the market that save water. I don't know what their price points is. I'm way out of my depth. I've never bought a shower. You know, I've never like designed an apartment. I don't know. I'm way out of my depth in the, the shower industry, but I do take showers every day. And I will say that the Nebbia shower is better than the shower at my apartment. It's better than the shower at my gym. It's better than the shower at my mom's house. It's better than shower at my dad's house. It's better than my friend's showers, whatever. It's like the best shower that I've experienced other than like really fancy spas and clubs that I'm not supposed to be in. So I, I think it's really worth it as a premium product. And then I'm thinking like, okay, that's amazing in itself. They've already created something that's that's making my life or that would make my life better as a consumer, but where does this go? And so, you know, my, my vision was like, man, I have so many of my best ideas in the shower, but there's no way to jot them down. I feel like I forget, you know, all my billion dollar schemes because they go away while I'm in the shower. Well, if I could talk to my Nebbia shower and say, maybe they integrate with Alexa or maybe it's their own voice assistant. And they're like, hey, Nebbia, write this down. Or like, I have this idea to make this moonshot about Tesla. Make sure that I have an Uber ready in 10 minutes so that I, I can get to work on time. Or Nebbia, read me the news while you're in the shower. Like, there's so many different ways that this company can leverage their shower to start building in technology to sort of t totally reinvent the experience. Experience. And so that has me sort of excited about the future. And then, you know, talk about like what's happening in Flint with the quality of the water and probably all over America where there's really old pipes, the water's not great. Eventually, Nebbia wants to start building in more and more advanced filtration systems into the shower and water. And so I think this company is, is really, really interesting. And I wanted to share with you because originally I just thought, wow, this is just a random little shower startup, but there's so much more than that. And, and it just goes to show you how, you know, these products that you use every day that you don't think about really haven't been innovated upon for, for decades, but yet we have all this new technology at our disposal to reinvent these everyday items that we interact with. And I, and I just, so it, it just really forced me to think outside the box about, wow, like I had no idea I was wasting so much water in my shower. I had no idea I was wasting so much electricity to heat my water in my shower. And this ties into the Tesla smart home thesis, you know, that I just put out a moonshot Monday on that this theory of like the smart air conditioner that would only turn on when you're home and, you know, kind of like nest and that saves you a ton of electricity because it's not heating when you're not home. You know, the Nebbia falls into that category of, of more with less using technology and software and, and reinventing the old guard to get more out of our natural resources. And this is a really, really powerful movement because I just think it, to go sustainable, we need to reduce our footprint. We Everybody needs to use less energy. Everybody needs to use less water. And so I put Nebbia in the sustainable smart home like umbrella, honestly. And that's what's even so crazy to me is I could see if, if Tesla eventually starts selling its homes and, and, and these mobile homes are, are building housing or, you know, it sells the air conditioning, sells your roof, sells your battery. Eventually they do your water system. I've already theorized that Tesla can build electric water heaters. You know, they could probably integrate with Nebbia or even buy Nebbia or, you know, at least sell Nebbia in their Tesla stores. And so I thought that was a really interesting parallel as well. Anyway, so that wraps up this episode. Nebbia is disruption in the shower industry. I'm a huge fan. I'm going to be, I don't, I still probably can't afford my own Nebbia shower, but one day that's the dream and huge shout out to the CEO and co-founder. Uh, Philip for showing me around. Uh, he was an awesome guy. And, and that's the other thing that I think about these companies is like when you have a CEO who's passionate about the environmental part of the mission, who's just really doing this because they want to make a change in the world. That's the sense I get from Nebbia, which makes me think that this company is really going to do great things. And this shower is just the start of, of, of sort of a, a much bigger company that they're building. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you buy the Nebbia? Do you have some other smart, sustainable shower that's atomizing your water, that's giving you a steam room-esque experience? I don't know. I'd love to know about it. Um, anyway, if you like the show, definitely check out our Patreon page. Consider supporting there. Means a ton. Thank you. Huge shout out to all our Patreons. Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.